Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick, also known as Tetra Ninja, and I welcome you back to the Mass Effect universe. This is going to be a series on the Mass Effect 3 Omega DLC that was just released today. It was the Microsoft equivalent of 15 bucks, and the download size was 2 gigabytes for all of you guys wandering out there. But yeah, uh, despite the ending to this game, the infamous Mass Effect 3 ending, I really did enjoy playing it. So I'm actually excited to be playing the DLC once again. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the return of the series. If you are going to enjoy the return of the series, please give this video uh, the biggest rating, fave, and possibly a comment if you are. And other than that, let's get started. All right, let's load up our game. Which is this one right here. 31 hours into this game, I am. About 100 hours into the whole entire trilogy. Which I think what made the ending really, really sour, that you invested so much time into the entire series. And I know they patched it, but even still, my decisions really didn't. I'm not going to go there. You guys know what was up with the ending, right? I don't need to say any more than that. Okay, we gotta get to the bridge probably to receive an email. These guys are in the archaic age of still using email. It's all about the Gmail. In the future, Google will rule us all. Red messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thanks. Omega, it's time. What's the number one rule of Omega? Don't fuck with Arya Talok. Okay, where are we? Let's get to the mass relay. What you guys know about completing maps 100%? <laughs> Speaking of which, if you guys are still, if you guys are new to the series, I did do a complete walkthrough of the main storyline. It lost about 100 episodes, so it was pretty in-depth. It was a Paragon run-through, if you're interested. Doc controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. 
The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega Lock tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say... I want you all to myself. This is gonna be a solo mission? Are you kidding me? I gotta at least take some crew members with Bray me. will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. I'm Commander Shepard, bitch. And this is my favorite place on the Citadel. <laughs> oh. Okay. Taylor. There she is. We're already as prepared as we could possibly be. Yep, we're doing this alone. Let's see, what was I using last time I played? Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Did not use... I only equip an assault rifle and a shotgun just to keep my weight down so my powers recharge quicker. Oh, I get Arya. Okay. Give you some mods. Okay. Wonder what kind of power she's going to use. Good. Shepard is good. Confirm. Got to confirm her powers too. Okay. Level two. Whoa, 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 whoa! I see. I don't really. I'm not a really a huge fan of Carnage. Okay. Well, you can do this by yourself. Power damage. I'm all, I'm all about the damage. Power damage. I'm not really looking for her to use her guns a lot. More just biotic powers. Yeah. Screw the squad. 
flare. It seems to be our trademark. Okay. Yes. I guess you're going to be taking down my barriers, aren't you? Reeve. Yes, you are. I prefer impact radius. Sorry, direct impact rather than the radius. Because I like to focus on just one character at a time. Or enemy at a time. Yeah, I'm not huge on Carnage. Carnage is what uh, one of the other characters used. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Shield penetration. I don't like to rely on chance when I play. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then... My forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. I feel like we shouldn't trust the Batarians. Damn, Arya has a big butt. <laughs> Junk in the trunk! Couldn't you tell by how distressed you sound? Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. 